all right guys welcome back to j force gaming and today i am going to show you the best software to spoof your gps location on your android device and your iphone as well so yeah this software works on both android and ios and as well as the latest version of ios and android so you guys can use this to trick your friend into thinking that you are somewhere else right or to protect your privacy by changing the location on your gps or also uh, use it to play any location based games as well so today i'm going to show you one of the apps that are always used to spoof my location right and it is this right here you need to to Taylor Go, all right. So this is the software that I always use, okay, to spoof location and as well as change my location right, on my um, location-based games. Uh, usually when I used to play, so uh, yeah, I can add the comfort of my own home on in front of my computer just to change the location on my phone, all right, to trick your friends, protect your privacy, and as well as play location-based games without necessary to go to you know the location itself to do the things. You can just sit at the comfort of your own home and you can change any location you want. So this software, why I, why I love it so much because it's very stable. It works out of the box, right? You don't have to do any tweaking. Just plug in your phone and it will automatically detect it and it will automatically spoof it. So that's a, in just three steps, you can is easily you know, get ready to you know, change your location. And it's 100% safe, so I don't have to run into any issues. And the developers, they always keep it updated on this software itself. So I am very, very happy with, um, I'm a very long-term user. And um, I, I just want to share with you guys, if you guys are looking out for the best way to spoof your location on your Android or iOS devices. All right, so um, yeah, right now I'm going to just show you the software itself, a few demonstrations on how it works, all right, and you guys can see for yourself if you guys love this software or not. So without further ado, let me just show you how it, how easy it is to connect to it. All right, so um, yeah, let me just show you the demonstration process. Let's go. Okay, so now this is the um, software itself where I will be demonstrating using my android phone but uh, it will be the same steps as if you are connecting your iphone so you don't have to worry about you know um, iphone being different it's all the same okay so um yeah uh, so uh, either you have android or iphone all you have to do is you saw this software over here all right you just need to click or get started or you can read their disclaimer first if you are those type of people who love who want to like make sure everything is right all right so you can just read it first uh once you're done reading you can just go ahead and click get started okay so they will show you different ways you guys can connect all right so the best thing about this software i like about is because okay you can use it uh, wirelessly as well you can all use use it with uh, usb connections all right so uh yeah and also this thing can connect up to five devices simultaneously so you can change the location on five devices which is really really insane and really cool all right so yeah so either if you have an ios device or an android just have to connect it down Okay, I think for Android you have to like go to developer option and enable certain settings. But for iPhone, if I'm not wrong, you just need to connect and you don't just follow some of screen instruction and you're good to go. All right, but both are very very similar in terms of functionality and you know the ease of use. So uh, right now I have connected my phone to it. Okay, and uh, you can see this thing pop pops right out. All right, my phone. Okay. okay. All right, so you can you have connected it. Okay, so um yeah, but before that. Right, for on, on Android devices, you will have to uh, go into developer options. Okay, uh, sometimes it's in um, you have to enable the build number a few times. If you have, if you don't know, you can just watch uh, how to enable the developer function on your Android device. It's very very simple. Okay, and I uh, just have to go down to uh, in developer option. Just head to head all the way down to select mod location app. Okay, uh, GPS assistant. So this software will install this app for you so you don't have to worry about it being you know um, dangerous all right so i'm using this and i have no issues with it so you don't have to worry about that okay so this is basically the app that helps to control your internal phone that links directly to the software itself so yeah all right so uh, once you have selected it just click on you can if you are playing those location based games you can select this as well they have um, a much more feature tailored to those games but if you're using it for like general like google maps snapchat all right, or basically just changing your location you can use the universal mode so today i'm going to talk about the universal mode all right uh, but you can use universal mode on the games as well but then yeah it's no different but if you're playing those games highly recommend use their mode because they have like some buttons or this that is pre uh, existed for them to you know just for the ease of usage 
So that's why I'm gonna skip. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me just. I think I can. Let me just increase the map so you guys can see it much more clearly. Okay, so uh, yeah, the one thing I like about this software is you can also uh adjust the size of the software itself because not a lot of software you can do that. Okay, some of them they are just limited to one size. So if my screenshot have different aspect ratio, it supports other aspect ratio. So right now, if I do zoom in with my mouse cursor, you can see that uh, I'm at around this area. All right. So let me just go to, let me just demonstrate to you on my Google Maps itself. <coughs> okay, so, uh, <coughs> so what I want to do is, all right, so right now I am going to show you the different modes that you can use, all right, to control your GPS location on your uh, Android or iOS devices, okay? So as you guys can see, this is my current location around here. On my phone, you know, it is showing the area I am in. Okay, so for, um, if you can see on top, uh, on top here, all right, there is like four, five different buttons. All right, so um, yeah, I'm going to show you all different kind of modes that you can use with it. So the very first mode is definitely teleport mode. If you know what teleport means, basically just teleport you to a location that you want. Okay, so you can zoom in. Probably I want to go like this park over here. Okay, so I just need to click on here. All right, on the left, it shows up, you know, um, you know, uh, where is the location, the altitude and the magnitude, uh, the altitude and the latitude. All right, if you like it, you can save this area so you can always revisit them. Okay, so you can basically like bookmark it. All right, so you can see the distance from you currently, all these technical details. But if you're not interested in all this, you can just click on move. Well, read the warning. If you're okay, the warning is fine. Just click on move. All right, and you can see on my GPS itself, it's also teleported. And right now I am on, you know, the area itself. So it's very, very cool. You can just teleport to how many area you want. All right, uh, no more reminders. Okay, and... uh. As you guys can see, I'm going around. You can move, move anywhere you want, and it's that instant. Okay, so um, yeah, another mode it you have is the jump teleport mode. So what this jump teleport mode is? Okay, I'm going to just demonstrate to you real quick. So for example, if I want to go to like maybe Serangoon Gardens over here, okay, so you guys can see, you can jump, you can add multiple locations. I add multiple destinations on the map so you can like maybe you want to visit this place you can see the number one can you see number one here yeah okay so that's number one and maybe i want to visit over here number two you just click you will just go into different areas you want so one two three four five all right so you want to visit all these five locations you can add them all in here okay so you can click auto jump after cooldown fluctuation mode if you want to make it look more realistic but for me i'm not interested in that all right you can just click on move and you'll move you to this point all right so once you are done with this point just click on next point and you'll move to next point next point next point next point and it will end off the whole route and you'll say route completed so it is that simple you can visit all different five destinations all right, so if you have multiple destinations you need to show up on your gps you can click 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 uh, maybe one here, one here, one here, one here, and bam, okay, you can go to all these different locations. All at once, instead of like, you know, teleporting here, oh, and then teleporting there, and then you find location and teleport here again, it's very hassle. So this thing is very, very easy, and it has saved you a lot of time instead of going one by one. Okay, so yeah, very, very simple mode. All right, and this one is the two spot mode. And this is a very, very interesting mode if you want to prank your friend or trick your friends. I'm you know, thinking that you know, uh, probably you are, uh, you are still at home, but you know, you told them you're on the way and you know, they check the Snapchat GPS and like you're still at home, right? So, what you're gonna do with this spoofing thing is you go select, for example, where am I right now? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm over here, correct? Okay, so this is my GPS, this orange dot over here. If I want to, maybe I'm meeting my friend somewhere over here at Tai Seng area. Okay, so you guys can see. So, um, yeah, you guys can see. Okay, and uh, yeah, it came up here. All right, so this thing you get to choose what speed you want, or you can drag this slider. So they uh, show like you know different icons like cycling speed, riding speed, and driving. So if you are driving, you just tell your friend you are driving. Just switch on driving speed. Realistic mode, the speed will fluctuate. So you sometimes go slow, go fast to make it more, more realistic if you want to. Uh, for but for me, I'm not interested in that as well. Okay, but uh, if I just click on move, you see what happened. All right. So as you guys can see this orange, this see this orange guy line, all right? So you guys can see this orange line. It plans an actual route from where you are to the end point with an actual route. So it doesn't go cut through everything uh, or just teleport. It, it's actually moving. Can you see my GPS is actually moving? And, um, oops, sorry. Uh, 
And um, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm actually moving on the road itself. Okay, so yeah, my GPS is currently following the route. So if your friends check, they were like, oh, you're actually moving. Okay, yeah, so you're actually on the way and such, but you know, actually you're still at home. So yeah, it, it, this one this is the one that plans the actual route for you. So um, yeah, to make it move more realistic. So anytime you want to stop or pause, you can just click on stop. Okay, and everything will be stopped and you will stop at where you are. So um, yeah, the next two demonstrations, of course, I'll, I'm, I'm going to show you on Snapchat as well because, you know, I'll show you, showing, proving to you that, you know, this works on other apps as well, okay? So yeah, if you go to Snapchat, you go to location. Okay, if I were to zoom in, this is me right now. Okay, so um, yeah. So uh, on Snapchat, you can also change your, you can also use teleport as well, you know, if you move. Snapchat you know, it also shows you move. So yeah, you just uh, all this works on any location-based apps or games. Okay, so I'm going to do the fourth one is, is the multi-sport mode. So what is multi-sport mode? Well, let me just go quick show you guys, okay? So multi-sport mode is when you click on this spot, click on this spot, it is the very same as uh, this one, the two, the multi-sport mode, but this one, all right, you have, you can adjust the speed itself, a variable speed. Okay, so you can add in multiple spots you want. You can select how fast you want to go. You can select a realistic mode. But with this one, let me just show you the difference between the previous one and this one. Okay, the previous one plan the actual route, but for this one, it just cut straight through. Can you see? All right, so it's just cutting straight through the buildings, everything. But the previous one, it plans a route for you to go to go to the actual location. So you just cut straight through. So this one looks a bit more fake. But um, yeah, if you, this, this one for you to play as you can see on my Snapchat, my person also moving. Okay, so uh, yeah, it is a really, really uh, cool, cool thing you can do. There's so many, many modes for you. See which one suits you the most. All right, if you pause, it will just stop where it is. Okay, just stop the whole thing and it will just stop everything. Okay, and we also have the last and final one, which is the joystick mode. As you guys can see, this software has so many type of function that suits you. Okay, so what this joystick mode is, as the name suggests, it is using joystick. So you can first select the speed you want. Okay, I'm just moving a car speed. Okay, click on move. Okay, and you can see on the bottom left, can you see? Can you see on the bottom left? Oops, my person going off. Okay. Uh, on this corner, can you see something on the bottom left of the screen? You can, can see that it's this like little circular thing where you can use it to control the direction I am going into. So you guys can see. Okay, so you can freely go around any direction you want at at your own view. So you know. So yeah, this is the joy joystick mode, which is really really cool. You can play around with it. You can add your you can use your keyboard as well to control. You guys can see I'm using my keyboard as well to control. So yeah, if you want to use your keyboard to control, you can use it as well. So um, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. They have all these kind of functions for you. So I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, so many different type of function. And the last one is you can basically see the history and favorites that you have, all those places that you have visited. So if you like a certain location, you can bookmark it. Okay, so you can select, clear all. You have safe spot, safe routes. You know all these um location based games kind of like safe location where you usually go and fight so uh yeah all right and on the bottom left right here i don't know if, okay, if i'm trying to point this over here can you guys see all these icons over here all right these all icons are like you can import or export maybe if your friends have a really good um location or good way spot mode any of this mode they can export it to you you can import them and you can use their records so yeah you can import export you can Control uh, multiple phone. You see, you can. That's my device here. I need to move. Uh, sorry, move to the side. Alright, so you guys can see, you can add multiple devices, up to five devices. Really, really cool. Alright, you can zoom in, zoom out, or you can use your mouse cruiser to zoom in, zoom out. Okay, and also on the top left, if you have a location that you know where it is, alright, you can just key in the lo the location. Alright, so you can see you can just key in the location you want, okay, and you just click on it, and it will show you the lo the location you want, and you can just move to it. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna use teleport mode. Okay, so this one, and then 
and you move and then tada I am over here so yeah, you can use this to um to change your location to any spot you want so if you know the address you can just key in and you can just teleport or move to the address you want so it is that simple and it is really really very easy to use um very intu intuitive all right um yeah that's why i always use this software because how easy it is to use and so many functionality it has not a lot of software have this amount of functionalities and you know it just works out of the box some other software you need to configure you have to like go to some different settings do a lot of settings this and that disable you know antivirus this and that which are very very if those software ask you to disable antivirus those are very very dangerous because you know you might not know why they ask you to disable so they are so this one they don't ask you to do anything you just need to connect still install the app just set it as a mock location app on your Android devices and you're good to go for iPhone I think it's pretty much more straightforward than Android you just need to connect accept some permission and you're good to go so yeah it is that simple and yeah it works on all the latest um iOS software or Android version so as, as you guys can see how good the developers are because all right they all support the latest from the version of um Android phones or iPhones that means all right, the developers of this software are up to date. They are constantly improving it and uh, updating it when a new iOS version or an Android version is released. So you can ensure that you are always kept updated to it. Right, and you can start spoofing your location, trick your friends on any apps you want or on any games. All right, so this is one of the best software that I recommend you guys to get if you want to spoof your location safely on your Android or iOS phones. So once again, if you guys want to check out this software, I'll link them the first link in the video screen down below and there is also a discount code down below for you guys to get it to get, I think, 15% off. Alright, you guys can go check it out down below. And uh, yeah, you guys can get, try it for free first and I uh, highly recommend you guys to purchase this because, you know, it is really one of the best software I've used for years without any problems. Alright, so if you want a very safe, reliable, works out of the box and a few simple steps to get started spoofing your yeah. location, you can think about this app itself all right so yeah so once again check out the first link in the video down below to learn more and as well as also use the discount code down below in the description to get a further discount on your purchase of this software if you're buying it full all right so yeah once again thank you for being here and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if this video is really helpful let me know in the comment section as well and without further ado this is jforce gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out I cry.